We have already told you about the three gunas of the mind and their relevance. We have also elaborated in detail about sattva and rajas gunas as well as how they affect the human mind. Now let's discuss more about the tamas guna and its effects, rather ill effects on our body and mind. Ayurveda refers to tamas as a force which is dull or lethargic, which definitely means that it is not something good. Tamas is what leads to destruction, the way by which nature destroys things. A tamasic mind is one which is lazy, depressed and demotivated. The literal translation of the word tamas in Sanskrit is darkness. Tamasic people might indulge in a very unhealthy diet, have unhealthy thoughts and live a lifestyle that's destructive in nature. These are the people who overeat and indulge in alcohol and drugs too much, despite knowing that it's bad for them. They also crave too much sex, which we know is bad for the body as per Ayurveda. All these things only work at aggravating the tamas guna more. Too much anger and too much violence are also linked to tamas guna in the mind. While rajasic people are selfish, tamasic people don't care about themselves or anyone else for that matter. That is the reason why they are disconnected and confused. Their mind feels heavy all the time, so they might not be able to express themselves properly to others and have trouble understanding their own self as well. They won't be self-confident or shy away from being in a group. People who have excess of tamas guna in their mind need help. They will not be able to determine what's good and what's harmful for them. They might not be able to make good judgments for themselves and are not reliable at all. If we go by our relics, tamas is where demons and monsters dwell. As they have excess of tamas themselves, the guna is said to be demonic in nature which eventually degenerates a person and causes death. There are very few of us who would act on an evil thought or go from angry to something destructive. That's because it is sattva guna that gives us the sense to stop it. But in a mind dominated by tamas, the person will take the next step no matter how bad it may be, because the mind isn't balanced properly. So basically, tamas is like the exact opposite of sattva. Sattva has goodness that can fight darkness and rajas has action that can fight inertia. But just like we need a lot of sattva and some rajas, we need some tamas guna as well. Yes, we do need some tamas to help us rest and sleep, but excess of it will make us lazy and lethargic. So a fine balance need to be maintained. Want to know how to bring down the tamas guna and stop it from taking over our minds? Follow this series.